Yo, this is your first time here. Welcome. I've been here before. Welcome back. Today, we're going to be talking about a very, very strange contraption, which is this little thing. Odd. So just want to know to start off with that if you don't suffer with any type of repetitive strain injury or any type of chronic pain in your wrists or hands, this video probably isn't the one for you. And if you're just looking for something that looks good, well, as you can probably tell, let me show you straight away, it's not the nicest looking thing in the world, but that's not what it's for. This is for productivity specifically, and this is to help anybody that has a repetitive strain injury, any signs of carpal tunnel, or just gets general pain, and we'd like to alleviate that from when they're gaming and doing stuff. As always, well, since the last time I've done a video, we went over 600 subscribers, which is mad. So while you're here, if you do enjoy my content, don't forget to click the subscribe button. Get us up to a thousand by the end of the year, maybe, if I can continue to make any more videos, that is. But yeah, drop a like, drop a comment, tell me what you think, but let's get to it. So, what are we looking at? This is the mouse cradle. Now, I do want to point out that one of the owners of this thing and the creator did reach out to me to get me to have a little look through, have a review, tell them what I think of it. You know the script if you've watched any of my other videos. This is what I do. So this was seen from when I had looked at the Della Hub Carpio. I said that I did like it. It looks good. It's kind of one of those things that pops up on your Instagram all the time. So you just kind of want to buy it and, you know, got one of those. I liked it. I'll link that video to the Della Hub up here. But as much as I think that it does help, it doesn't really push the barrier far enough. If you're somebody like me, I kind of mentioned in the last video, that I've had early kind of signs of arthritis in my hands just from the things I've done over the years. I've been a drummer, done MMA for years, sat at a desk typing, done all these types of things. And so I do have early signs which is pain in some of my joints. And when you have a mouse like this and it causes this type of flexion, depending on how big your mouse is, whether it's a productivity mouse, it can cause issues in your hand and in your wrist, especially if you're like me and you sit there for 19 hours during a day then another five at night. So he reached out and says, can you have a look at this? What it is, is it basically is a wrist rest. It is a movable wrist rest that has two little balls on the bottom here that let you move it about the table. It's a comfy wrist rest. It's shaped the size of pretty much any hand. It sits like this. So if you see here, it's a strange shape. I remember the first time actually, I'll get into it in the cons, but I couldn't figure out what way to put my hand. But anyway, it sits this way. Wrist goes in like this, sits here, and you can move like this. But essentially that's what it sits like. So it sits here in the palm of your hand, quite bulky, but it is good. So on the top, it has a kind of felt texture. It's got these little triangles in here for grip and stuff. It's a eye. It's kind of like felt. That's the only way I can really explain it. And it's a kind of dark bluish color. Then on the bottom, we've got, it's almost a rubberized plastic texture with some writing on here, the mouse cradle. It's got the patent number um, made in Canada as well. I'd just like to point out before I start, the guy that sent me this is the nicest guy ever. He's just such a such a nice guy. And I really hope that based on the feedback that we gave him, if, if people buy it and stuff, then you know he can make a few changes. And I think this could be a serious competitor for the Delta Hub anyway. And a massive help to anybody who has any type of RSI or carpal tunnel or whatever. Anyway, it's then got these two little silver casings on these two little white balls that are what help it move around the desk. These white balls are, I don't know, they're a bit shaky, but it's what it is, it does the job. So it's a nice, it's a nice feeling thing. I'll go over a few things. As far as looks go, I mean, I've mentioned to him straight away that he needs a black version of this. Needs a black version, needs a white version. As far as it, its color at the moment, I don't know how viable it is in your setup. If repetitive strain injury is an extreme thing for you or carpal tunnel and it's bad enough for you to not care about what it looks like. Or if you have a blue and orange setup, which if you have, tell me, because I've never really seen that before, then, you know, that's the only way you would really want to go with it, I would think. Maybe I'm wrong. But I've said to him, once he has a black one or a white one, good. Uh, so that's the looks. Functionality, fantastic. Weirdly enough, so I, I've already said that I don't really like the look unless it came in another colour. But for some reason, can't stop using it over the Delta Hub. I don't know why. I don't know what it is about it. I don't know whether it's just a comfort thing for me now, but like, I keep using it so much. It's just so comfy all day. Like, comfort-wise, it's madness. I love that about it. I think it's a brilliant shape. It works so well and I can see it working with anybody's type of hand, I think, anyway. One of the cons that does come with it is this. That noise. I think it needs some type of rubber housing or rubber ball on it, because that's quite annoying. And you can also hear it, it's the best way to do it. That's the balls moving about. It's kind of loud. But what I will say is that if we're comparing it to the Delta Hub, if you've not seen one, that this is the the Carpio, so obviously it's very, very different. If you've not seen one, actually with their specific mouse map, it doesn't move about very well. What I suggested to him is that PTFE feet on this would probably be fine. The balls are a nice touch and they make it move 
smoothly, but yeah, they are quite noisy. So PTFE feet on the bottom of this, I think would work pretty damn well. Got up the price. I think, and I said this about the Carpio as well, that if the repetitive strain injury or carpal tunnel or chronic pain in your hands and wrists is a big issue for you, you won't mind paying for this. I'll put a link to it in the description below. You can see whether you think it, whether you think it's worth the price, but for me, I think it really is worth the price, especially if you care about this a lot and you want to get it rectified because I can't put it down and I'm using it a lot more than the Delta Hub. I don't know what to say. I know you're looking at it going, I can't believe it, and this is a shell. It's not. I don't care if you buy it or not. I just think that it's way better than the Delta Hub and it's worth a purchase. With a few of those tweaks, I really think that it could be a serious competitor for that and could be one of the top things in the wrist rest market, the movable wrist rest market, which is important because you can game with it for sure. I think anyway, personally. But anyway, I do have a couple spare. If anybody is wanting one, leave me a comment down below. Uh, we can get in touch, maybe hit up on Instagram, SR2 Media. We can exchange details and I will throw you one if you want to try it and you can let me know what you think. But anyway, relatively short and sweet today, running through that. I will leave a link to it down in the description below. But also, don't forget to click the sub button. If you did enjoy the content, press like, leave a comment, do all those types of things. And yeah, I will see you in the next video.